Hi, thanks for joining us at the Wide Format Summit today. I'm Becky McConnell. I'm the segment marketing manager for Wide Format Inkjet here at Fujifilm North America's Graphic Systems Division. Today I'm going to talk with you guys about a case study I did with Impulse Graphics and Display Solutions in the Greater Toronto Area in Ontario, Canada. I had the pleasure of speaking and working with Alex Cascia, who is the president of Impulse. So big thank you to him and his team for all their time and information. Now I'll kick this off with a bit of background on their business and then I'll move into the really the thick of the issue, resolution and results as I dive into this case study about this magnificent print service provider. Founded in 1976, the owner of Impulse Signs had a lengthy history in the hospitality industry selling catering supplies for two and a half decades. He saw the potential to complement the business with menu boards. With fast food restaurants starting to grow, he was anticipating a boom in the need for menu boards and wanted to capitalize on the opportunity. When he didn't gather much interest from his colleagues, he decided to venture into the sign business himself, and that's where the Impulse Sign story begins. His business changed rapidly. He went from outsourcing the boards from the U.S. to designing his own boards, and as technology and market needs changed, Impulse Signs introduced screen printing. And they continued changing and growing fast and furiously as they steadily added clients to their roster. Some of their large clients were, and remain to be, the biggest fast food chains that you'd be more than familiar with. They were outgrowing themselves constantly, so much so that they moved facilities three times in just 18 years. Now as the business and the market continued to develop, the Impulse team saw digital on the horizon, both from a printing standpoint and from a menu board standpoint. Before they made the jump to digital printing, the team at Impulse literally did years of research, and when the time was right, they began to outsource digital and pinpoint the exact needs of their clients to ensure that they were making the best decision when it came to investing for digital printing. The team at Impulse introduced additional services like creative and design services and prepared for their future success in digital printing while expanding what they were able to offer their clients as well as expand the markets they were serving at the time. And then after building up enough of a client base to justify their spend, they made the leap and landed on their feet with a digital inkjet flatbed printer from Fujifilm, the Acuity series of machines. In less than two years, they needed greater capacity and more redundancy, so they traded in their existing flatbed for two Acuity flatbed inkjet printers, and they ran 24 hours a day. As their need for capacity and throughput continued to increase over time, they moved into the Inca onset series of printers, and when the time was right, they increased their production capacity even further by upgrading their onset to the latest and greatest model at the time, which literally gave them twice the print speed and throughput as their initial onset. And with the addition of the high production onset, they were also in a position to run their last screen job and shut the lines down. That's when they rebranded from Impulse Signs to Impulse Graphics and Display Solutions, better representing the services that they provided. Now stay with me. So up to this point, Impulse had only used flatbeds to produce their wide format digital work. They had the acuities, then the onset, and as they saw the roll work start to really grow from a job standpoint, they decided it was time to invest again. This time they opted for a super wide hybrid printer. This way they could print super wide flexible material and give them that outlet to print roll without sheeting it and printing it on the onset and also serve as an overflow so the hybrid could basically back up the onset, whether it be for downtime or if it was because of just a capacity standpoint. Now at this point in time, their mix of production was 80% flatbed or rigid work and 20% flexible or roll material. When they brought on the hybrid, they were able to get rid of their slower flatbeds and not only maintain, but grow their flexible material jobs. And they ended up not really needing a backup for the onset. Between growth in roll media jobs and the uptime of the onset, they weren't needing to move rigid jobs from the onset to the hybrid. With the growth in print on roll material, they decided it was time to determine if the super wide hybrid printer that they have should be upgraded to a dedicated roll device. They looked back to determine that very few jobs needed to be moved from the onset to the hybrid, whether that be for capacity reasons or downtime. With no longer having a need for rigid backup work, it was even easier to consider moving to a dedicated roll device. They looked at the growth they were seeing in rigid jobs compared to those requiring flexible media. Their business had shifted massively. Nearly 60% of the jobs were being produced on flexible media compared to the 20% I previously mentioned. Given that growth, they knew they needed to increase their capacity and productivity for flexible work. And there was a lot of opportunity for growth if they moved to a dedicated roll device. 
When it came to the ability to increase the printer width from 3.2 to 5 meters, it presented the ability to approach different prospects and also gave the ability to increase throughput because of the additional print width. After considering these two points, they knew it was time to start their research, carry out the legwork on product evaluations, and determine what solution in the marketplace was going to best suit the need for impulse graphics and display solutions. When it came to criteria as they took a look at super wide roll printers that they could purchase, it all came down to productivity. They wanted to keep it simple, which is a spirit they insert to many aspects of their production. They didn't need all the bells and whistles, they just needed a printer that was easy to set up, easy to operate, and that would allow them to get jobs out the door faster. They wanted to be able to easily print multi-roll, as well as easily print full width rolls, given the potential that they saw with the size of the substrate. Another requirement on this dedicated roll printer was an ink set that provided a large color gamut. Their ability to meet client demands is something that Impulse continues to hang their hat on. They know the importance to their clients and end users when it comes to color, so it would remain a criteria in the acquisition of a piece of equipment. Five meter print width ability was another factor for Impulse. Because many of their competitors had not expanded to five meter print width capability, they found it could give them an edge and open the door to new clients. The last bit of criteria that Impulse needed a roll printer to fulfill was consistency and uptime. Like so many of you, client demands for fast turnaround meant that downtime or slowed production was not an option. Even though Impulse keeps it simple and didn't need bells and whistles, what they did need was a printer with excellent uptime that they could rely on day after day for their production. Impulse took a look at most of the super wide UV printers on the market and started to formulate a plan to purchase a unit and replace their super wide hybrid device with a dedicated roll printer. While they were going through their printer evaluations, one of Impulse's largest clients was focusing on a rebranding, and the massive order for window graphics required for that job was what really moved the needle on making the decision about what solution they were going to bring into the shop at Impulse. This new work meant that a dedicated roll press was necessary in order for them to produce these window graphics as efficiently and quickly as possible to meet that client's demand. They opted for the five meter Acuity Ultra, which was newly introduced because it truly put them in the best position for today and into the future. When they did all their testing, the Acuity Ultra checked all the boxes, delivered a large color gamut, was easy to use operationally, and they really felt that the shop would benefit from investing in the piece of equipment. With the features of the Acuity Ultra, it more than satisfied the needs that Impulse had. From an operator standpoint, it didn't take long for the pressman to be fully operational and begin production. The graphical user interface, or GUI, was simple and easy to use, so that aided in reducing job setup time. In fact, shortly after installation, the pressman said, where was this two years ago? So that's a testimony to the ease of use and added benefit that even the operator saw in the Acuity Ultra. A benefit that Impulse hadn't planned on was the operational savings they'd see from reduced setup time and reduced maintenance time. Because the operator can quickly go from ripping to the file setup and production, along with the machine requiring very little maintenance, Impulse has seen a reduction of about 30% when it comes to the time spent on setup and maintenance. When you think about changing run lengths with job numbers increasing and pieces per jobs decreasing, time saved on job setup can be exponentially beneficial to a print service provider. We developed the Acuity Ultra to be easy to use, easy to maintain, and easy to service so that it could fit into any print environment seamlessly, providing added value to the user. For Impulse, the Acuity Ultra also checked all the boxes as it related to color gamut. The UvaJet GS ink system developed by Fujifilm for the Ultra provides Impulse with the needed gamut and flexibility to tackle any job that comes their way. For their current clients, the color space provided by the ink was more than sufficient, which also gave Impulse peace of mind needed that the UvaJet GS ink system would also position them for the future. With the UL Green Guard Gold certification that the Acuity Ultra's ink bears, it allowed the Impulse team to add custom wall coverings to their roster of products that could be sold to facilities like nursing homes and educational facilities. For those of you that might not be aware, Green Guard certification from UL Environment is used to classify interior products and materials that have low chemical emissions, obviously a critical aspect in educational facilities, healthcare facilities, and beyond. When it came to ink consumption, something Impulse didn't anticipate was the cost savings that they would see with the Acuity Ultra. The entire team couldn't believe how much they could produce on a per liter basis. When it came to retaining their pricing, they were able to do so with the Acuity Ultra, which is, as you can imagine, wonderful news for the bottom line at Impulse Graphics and Display Solutions. In looking at ink costs per job on the previous piece of equipment, 
Impulse has seen a 12% increase in margin on those jobs since bringing the Acuity Ultra on board. Knowing that print providers continue to work on ways to be more profitable, ink savings is one that could bring a smile to any print provider's face. Another requirement for Impulse for their dedicated roll device was a 5 meter print width capability. The facility at Impulse had the room for a 5 meter unit without any major changes needed and would not disrupt their production flow throughout the facility. Also, because of the difference in investment from a 3.2 to a 5 meter unit, the ROI was clear for Impulse and the right decision for them was the larger format size of the Acuity Ultra. With 5 meter print width, Impulse was able to attack a new market with a unique selling position, proposed savings for the end user. For large construction companies that need to print massive banners and prints for their sites, with the ability to print 5 meter width, Impulse could offer easier handling and savings in installation, as well as savings in finishing because there would be less welding needed to complete the jobs with the bigger print width. There's another client that takes advantage of Impulse's ability to print 5 meter wide graphics, and the massive print width reduces the amount of time they have personnel on scaffolding for a large scale shrink wrapping process, and that provides Impulse's clients massive savings. With 5 meter printing width also came the ability to print three 63 inch rolls simultaneously on the Acuity Ultra. Impulse takes advantage of this feature for large jobs to produce huge volumes of work and to ultimately get jobs out the door as fast as they can. Because the print width of the Ultra has brought new opportunities to the table and Impulse's ability to satisfy their new and existing clients with the 5 meter print width, Impulse has seen an increase in sales of about 18%. Now, my jaw nearly hit the floor when I heard that, and like any successful business, Impulse wants to see even greater sales increases in the future with their expanded capabilities. The current situation with COVID has certainly thrown a wrench in their plans, just like I'm sure so many of you are currently dealing with and working through. Impulse will continue to find new and different avenues to provide super wide print and grow their sales with their massive print width potential with the five meter ultra. Now the last bit of criteria that the Acuity Ultra checked off for Impulse was uptime and reliability. Given the fact that this was going to be their sole roll printing device, they needed to make sure that they had something that they could depend on. Now, given Impulse's past experience with Fujifilm and their service group, they had peace of mind knowing that the team would make sure that they were up and running constantly, and if there was a problem, they'd be taken care of quickly. The Acuity Ultra is built for reliability. Substantial steel construction minimizes potential quality issues caused by vibration over time, and industrial quality components are used throughout the machine built for superb reliability. Up to this point, Impulse has seen the uptime on the Ultra to be as they expected, and they have determined the success to be that they can simply set up a job and let it run. The operator will continually check on the job, but he can also trust that the printer will perform as he's expecting it to, exactly what's needed in a high production print facility. Overall, Impulse has been very happy with their investment in the Acuity Ultra because of the factors that have been impacted in their business with this choice. To wrap up, you've heard how Impulse Graphics and Display Solutions saw the potential that a high production, dedicated roll-to-roll -roll printer would bring to their business based on what trends they were seeing, decided which factors that they needed to consider before they made the investment, and did plenty of research. Let's take a quick look at the numbers. When it comes to total cost and use, Impulse is clearly winning with the Acuity Ultra. Due to ease of use and simple setup, the team at Impulse has seen a reduction of about 30% when it comes to time spent on setup and maintenance. Due to the small ink drop size, which is driving the print quality of the Ultra and laying down a thin film of ink, Impulse has seen a 12% increase in margin compared to their previous device. The five meter print width of the Ultra has allowed Impulse to increase capacity and sell to new markets. As a result, Impulse has seen an increase in sales of about 18%. When you take a look at the increased sales, increased margin, and saved times with reduced setup and reduced maintenance time, it's easy to see why Impulse feels that they made the right decision by deciding on the Acuity Ultra. So thank you all very much for joining me today. And if you guys have any questions or if you're looking ways to improve your business, please feel free to reach out to me at the email address that you see here, and we'll make sure to have somebody contact you and see what we can do to help. Thanks again and have a great rest of your day.